Today's awesome dude of the week is Abu Ali Al Hussein Ibn Abin Allah Ibn Sina Balki. Or maybe it's Hussein Ibn Abdullah Ibn Hassan Ibn Ali Ibn Sina. Also known as Abu Ali Sina Balki. Or just plain old Ibn Sina. He's also known by his Latinized name of Avicenna. Look, I don't know how to pronounce or it's like that quote from Romeo and Juliet. What's in a name? That which you call a rose by any other name would smell Dude was born and raised in West today, Uzbekistan. Typical rich kid with the best private tutors money could buy and all that. But by the time he was 14 years old, there wasn't really anything more they could teach him. So he just started reading Aristotle. Then at 16, he taught himself medicine and was a practicing doctor with quite a reputation by 18. His big break came when he cured the emir of some disease. Since his daddy was rich, he didn't need any money, so the emir rewarded him for saving his life by granting him access to the royal library. Dude proceeded to travel around and work under various patrons and be awesome. Really, really awesome. He literally wrote the book on medicine. The book they used for the next 500 years. Not just in Persia, the Islamic world, but in Europe too. It was an encyclopedia based on his own personal experiences, medieval Islamic medicine, ancient Arabian and Persian medicine, Chinese herbology, and the writings of a who's who of legends you wouldn't recognize even if I told you their names. In his epic, Canon of Medicine, he pretty much laid down the law. You know how infectious diseases are contagious? Well, no one did before his book came out. The use of quarantine? Uh Uh-huh. The introduction of experimental medicine? Clinical trials? I mean, dude kind of invented modern medicine. He did some other stuff, too. Ever used a thermometer? He says you're welcome. He also invented the refrigerated coil, which he used to produce essential oils through steam distillation. Any of you hippies out there who are into aromatherapy can thank him for that one, too. Let's see, what else? Oh, ever heard of Momentum? Yeah, he kind of came up with that. The father of Momentum. Look it up. Dude was sort of a big deal in lots of fields. Geologists can thank him for the law of superposition. He kind of originated the concept in his other best-selling book. Yeah, in addition to writing the definitive medical textbook that would be cutting edge for the next half millennium, he wrote another encyclopedia. This one covered astronomy, chemistry, physics, music, arithmetic, psychology, politics, and of course philosophy, since in addition to being the preeminent authority in all things related to medicine, dude was also the foremost philosopher of the era. Told you he was bad. He was also anti-astrology and anti-alchemy, which don't sound all that revolutionary to us, but a thousand years ago to refute the legitimacy of those were pretty big deals. Dude was awesome. The punchline? He wasn't even the smartest Persian Uzbeki of his generation.